Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can use PDF Viewer and that is within a container so that you can make your app, Power Apps Canvas app responsive. Because generally what happens that it is not possible to add the PDF Viewer within a container. So this I am going to show you in this particular video. But before that, I want to let you know that there is already a template available uh, out of the box where you can um, see the PDF viewer and the PDF files. However, that particular template is not within a container. And that's why that is the reason I have created this video. So let's see this in action. I will tell you step by step that um, the first step is that when you come to Power App Studio. When you navigate to the screen, you get four options to create the video. The first one is start with Copilot, start with data, start with a page design where you can start with your some Figma file or Figma design. And you get also an option to start with an app template. I have clicked on that option to start with an app template. You, so you see here, there are many templates out of the box again, which are available as I always say that do not try to reinvent the wheel. So please look for these kind of templates always before starting your uh, custom development. So here you see there is already a template which is available called PDF Reader. So you can use this particular template to create your Canvas app. I went ahead already and created one app using this template. I will show you that app now. So this is the app. If you open this app in the edit mode, this is the app, which is the PDF reader app given by Microsoft in Power Apps out of the box. But you see here that this is the screen, basically home screen by height and full screen mode. You will get two screens by default. But the problem here is what I found is that this screen is not having any container. All the controls are added one by one. So. Uh, by that, what I mean that if you want to add your um, PDF viewer in a container, so that will not be possible using uh, out of the box solution. So you see here, this is the PDF viewer control on the right hand side. On the left hand side, there is a gallery where all the PDFs or PDF files are shown. So if I run this app, for example, uh, it's a very cool app. You can start it or you can use it as your base. Uh, to uh, use the PDF viewer in your custom business requirements. So you see here, if I click on this particular PDF file, um, the PDF viewer is showing that particular content of that particular PDF file. If I click on another file, then the PDF viewer is again showcasing the contents of that PDF file, which is absolutely the requirement which we are currently working on. However, as I said, the main problem with this out of the box template is that this is not responsive. This PDF viewer is not added within a container, but I want to add. I want to add this PDF viewer inside a container to make my app canvas app responsive. And that is what I went ahead and created my own um, canvas app by looking at this template. So I'm going to showcase that particular trick that how you can uh, you, how you can add a PDF viewer within a container. So I'm going to show you that now that what I have done within my canvas app. So this is the canvas app which I created. The first and foremost thing to bring the PDF viewer within a container, you have to create it as a component. This is the first step and most important part of this video that if you want basically your PDF viewer within a container, you have to make it within a component. You have to add it within a component first within your app. So what you can do Within your Power Apps, there is an option called screen and there is an option called components. Come to the component, create a component and then add a PDF viewer control. This is the PDF control out of the box, which I have created. And for this, I have just created um, basically three properties for this component, component width, component height and component document. So these are the three custom properties which are which I have created for this particular component component width, which I have given some width, component height, again, I have given some height and component document is just simple PDF. These are just the three properties which I have created 
for this particular component and this PDF your control I have added within this component. So that is how first step you have to create a component. Second is come to your screen now and then you can have your container. So I have added here the main container which is my container 2. This container is having for example two another containers. One is for the PDF files and another is for the PDF viewer. So now you can see within the PDF viewer container, I have added the PDF viewer as a component and it gets added. But before that, let me show you very quickly. Let's say if you add a new screen just for the demonstration purpose, I'm showing you add a new screen. And in this screen, let's say you add a container to make your app responsive. For example, you add a vertical container just as an example I'm showing. Now within this container, if you try to add the PDF viewer, it will not be added within this container. Instead, it will be added as part of the screen. So let me show you that first. So I have selected the container. You can see container 3 is selected currently in my environment on my screen. And if I add here a PDF viewer control, PDF viewer control, you see here, this is not added inside the container. This is added inside the screen. And this is the problem we are trying to solve in this video. Um, so the solution for this I have already told you that for that you have to basically create a component and add your PDF your control within that component and then you can start using that component within the container. So this is a small demo which I have created. Um, I will show you uh, how I have created it. I am using a document library SharePoint document library where I have three PDF files. Uh, the column name is name. There is a column I have created, just a random column, a standard version and document link. Document link is basically um, a image type, hyperlink or picture type of uh, column data type, which I have created. Now, in my inside my Power Apps, I will show you both the containers, what I have implemented. So the first container is for the PDF files, to show the PDF files. If I run this app, I have also implemented this search functionality. So if I search with 2.2, for example, oh, I've added the search on the name. So let's say if I say sample, so you can see here the sample PDF. If I remove this, I can see all the all the PDF files. If I say, let's say here multi-column, so you can see it is getting filtered. The data is getting filtered using my search. So that was related to the search, but how I created this PDF uh, file gallery. So this is the left container and this is the right container. Basically, there are two containers within the main container. And then I have added a gallery. So the name of the gallery is PDF gallery currently. You can see here the name of the gallery is PDF gallery. There is an icon which I have added for search and there is a text box which I have added for search. This is very simple. I have not changed much of these property. Only one property of text box I have changed. I have made a default as blank. I made just this change in the text box and icon property is again very straightforward. I have used the search icon for that. The most important part is this gallery that what are the items in this gallery basically. So there is a rectangle on the left hand side. There is a separator. There is a new arrow which is out of the box again title and subtitle. So these are the controls or sub controls within this gallery. Now the most important part is the items property of this gallery. What I'm doing is that if txt search pdf dot text is equal to blank this is my text box control i am just um, having a collection collection of a standard list for dashboard uh, if it is not blank then i'm filtering the data based on my search query now what is this collection this collection is nothing but the collection of the pdf files which i have created maybe on the app on start you can add or you can add it um, maybe on the screen on visible property. So that should not be a problem. Maybe I can show you that part also very quickly. So I am on the app on start. And if I scroll down just till the bottom, you can see here I have created this collection, which I am using um, in the items property of my left gallery. So you can see here, this is the collection and this is the direct um, the data source, basically uh, the document library. This is my data source. I'm just creating a collection for that in the app on start property. And I've already ran the uh, app run on start. That part is done. So once this PDF gallery is configured using the items property, you will start seeing this uh, items which are there in your 
document library. Currently, I have three items with 1.1, 2.2, 3.3 as standard version. That's why it is showing 1.1, 2.2, and 3.3 as standard version because I am using title and subtitle control. So this is one part of it, the left container basically. Again, let me tell you, I am using two containers, left hand side, there is a gallery. On the right hand side, I am using the PDF viewer control, which is again the responsive in nature. Um, if I show you the next part of it, which is the second container, in the second container, I have um, used some logic, some logic to show the data. So basically, I have used a hidden gallery here. You can see the visible properties of. I am using a gallery here and in this gallery, I am just sorting the data for sort by columns and then filtering the data based on the standard version and uh, uh, sorting the data based on the ID and descending. So this is basically a hidden gallery which I have used the items property and I am also used a label. In the label, again, this label is basically a, a hidden label which I have used and I am using the on the text property gallery two dot selected dot document link. So basically, this document link uh, is a column in my SharePoint document library where you see it is showing the URL till the PDF file. So this is showing the PDF file and this is basically the document link which I have used. And you see here that is how um, that is how this gets created. If I uh, select this, um, if I select this completely gallery two dot selected dot document link, it is a type. It is of type image basically because that is a image. Uh, that is an image. Uh, uh, data type in my SharePoint document library and in the component finally since I use three custom properties so these three are the custom properties which I used so component uh, document component height and component width so basically component width I am using as thousand component height uh, I am using as parent dot height width also you can use parent dot width no problem the most important part is component document which I am using the label text property. Please remember in my case here as a solution, I have used this gallery and the label both are hidden. You cannot see on the screen. I am just using some logic to generate the document link and show it in the PDF viewer. So let's run this uh, particular uh, scenario or the demo. If I select this particular PDF, it is showing me the contents of that particular PDF. If I select a sample PDF, then my PDF viewer will start showing the contents from that particular PDF file. You can see here it is generating that document link and it will show the sample PDF contents. And if I select the third PDF file, it will the PDF viewer will start showing the data from the uh, third PDF uh, from the third PDF file. So uh, this is searchable also the data is getting filtered also. So that is how basically you can use um, the PDF viewer within a container in Power Apps and you can make your app responsive. That's all in this video and thanks for watching.